What's up guys, welcome back to Halfman Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So as you can see here, Apple has just released a new software update when it comes to iOS 15. And as you can see, it's iOS 15.0.2. This comes after a few weeks since the release of iOS 15.0.1. And also alongside this update, Apple also released a number of updates like iPadOS 15.0.2 and watchOS 8.0.1. So these are some of the updates that came out. And if we go into settings and go to general and go to the about this iPhone section, you can see the new build number that we have. It's 19A. 404 and if we go down you can see the modem framework version we have and it's 9.01.00 now in terms of new features or changes or bug fixes that came with this update there aren't really many new features or changes it's more of a bug fix or a stability update and the main one that it fixes has to do with freezing or crashing problems for other iphones like the iphone 7 and the iphone 8 so if you're having issues when it came to your device freezing or performing this is the iphone 6s i wasn't experiencing those issues but this update aims at resolving that and also when it comes to imessage if you use imessage and you are receiving pictures like on your device through the imessage app and you save them in your photos app sometimes when you would delete the photo from the imessage uh, that you received it from it would also go ahead and delete it from the photos app so this update also aims at resolving that issue and also if you have a newer iphone like uh, the iphone 13 or 13 pro and you use the magsafe accessories there was an issue whereby magsafe was not connecting properly or connectivity issues were present with the newer magsafe wallet to be specific so this update aims at resolving that and also when it comes to air tags when you go into the find my application you wouldn't actually be able to find your air tags and they wouldn't show at all so this update also aims at resolving that issue and also if you have carplay or you use a device or a car that has carplay there were issues with ios 15.0.1 where the audio or the media playback was not being received so this update also aims at resolving that issue and of course like apple said you can see that for information on security content and software updates please visit this website and it will tell you some of the security updates that came with this update so nothing much much, nothing major it's more of a bug fix and stability update since ios 15 has in my opinion sort of been broken so it came with a lot of issues and these point updates are more of stability and bug fix updates now when it comes to like battery and performance i do need some time to be able to test it out and see how this update is performing overly but as you can see for my iphone 6s this has been more of a bug fix update before i updated this widget was actually like this it said no content and as you can see once i click on it this it's actually a photos widget and it won't show so if i delete it and add it again then it will show photos that i was experiencing on ios 15.0.1 with point two it seems like i'll have to delete it and and add it again but other than that that's the only issue that i see present and uh, if i find anything else i'll update you over on my social media handle and this is how this ios 15.0.2 has been on my iphone 6s let me know if you have any other question or issues in the comment section below stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace